Hi guys, so this is a submission video of your characters that you've left in the comments. These are a few of our favourites, so leave your characters down below and I might be able to do another one. But let's get into the video. I actually have an ongoing character that's a former battle mage slash necromancer human that later turned into a corrupted slash cursed revenant death knight. He basically works as a mercenary warlord for a mercenary group that actively hunts vampires despite the owner of his group also being a vampire that hates other vampires. Fuck me, that's convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> and this often leads to my character coming across some awkward situations since he's an undead that hunts other undead and besides that, he's got a few hobbies in from blacksmithing, animal slash creature collecting, weapon collecting and has an obsession with jewel slash gem collecting. He's technically chaotic good, but is treated like he's the worst person ever, typically because of his appearance and status as an undead. He's the type that'll most likely save your life and your family's life, but you'll have the impression to hate him anyway. Doesn't help that he has very low charisma as well. <laughs> well, like, you know, I suppose I can kind of see the chaotic good in him. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, he may be an evil creature, but he has other evil creatures. creatures. Is that kind of like the ultimate, like, anti-hero type? Tobrick, a dwarven construction worker slash foreman. Oh, he's my type of man. <laughs> <laughs> who moonlights as a cleric of Bolka, the dwarven goddess of marriage. Got his nickname as an apprentice when he dropped a brick on his toe and let out a truly legendary stream of profanity. Healing consists largely of him swearing like Yosemite Sam, smacking the patient and telling them to get back to work. Can lockpick by using his tools to literally take apart the door. Are you sure he isn't breaking it? Not, <laughs> yeah, he's just breaking the it's door. It's like that one we did before, where it's like uh, he's got the skeleton key and it's just it's just a hard. hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Takes cursed architecture personally. Will undertake cleansing slash demolition of such structures pro bono. <laughs> I once played a skeleton paladin. Dude believed he was raised by a deity for some unknown divine purpose. Kinda naive, cheerful, neutral good dunce who didn't even bother to pretend that he's not an undead. With 20 in charisma, the guy caused terror and laughs in equal measure. Loved making skeletons related puns. Died, once again, with a smile on his skull. Aww. <laughs> he would fit in quite well with the, the skull party, I think. Purple Aki the sweaty <laughs> creep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, look, okay, we need to put it aside here. If any of you don't know who Purple Aki is. We'll put is, a link down for, uh, for um, Count Dankula's video, video on Purple Aki. It's hilarious. so funny. Check that out if you want. And then you'll get it. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it. So watch that and then come back and then keep going, all right? Purple Aki the sweaty creep. Now, that would be a terrifying evil character. A Goliath who really likes muscles <laughs> and he really likes young men. Old urban legends make for creepy adaptations. Except he isn't fake. Oh, and the creepy crippled rat eating guy. What? Wait, wait, you need to You, you need, need to, to explain expand. the rat the right. rat eating guy. Yeah, expand on the comments if you come back. One time in Pathfinder, I ran with the stereotype that goblins were culturally illiterate. They think it requires taking the thoughts out of your head to write it down. By making a goblin postman. Everybody just went, Oh, he's so cute in his little uniform. <laughs> and didn't think he could even read the notes he sent. In reality, I was a knife master rogue with max ranks in linguistics. Specifically for forging documents to gain access to restricted areas. That's, That's pretty good. good. I like that. I like that. I really like that. Good um, one, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> get on, you're Trevor like Well done, that. Trev. <laughs> yeah. Big Trev. You. <laughs> There are some psychic classes in Pathfinder that can make sure one attack never misses somehow. My brother made a ranger who used it to 360 no scope. He multiclassed into bard with an air horn <laughs> as his instrument. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. He must have been a scion of sorts. Using third party Pathfinder stuff, I'm currently playing a bard who, instead of inspiring allies, Causes them to mutate and grow extra limbs Wait, through their power up. of a great old one. Wait, hold up here for one second. She loves everybody and just wants to help them. Unfortunately, this help usually entails drastic physical reconstruction through either spells or surgery, which she's not very good at, but optimistically keeps trying. <laughs> you can't toss anything with tentacles. <laughs> Anytime this is like anytime we do anything involving tentacles, it just doesn't work out. Just don't, just don't do it. All right, you know you guys know this. <laughs> I'm currently playing as a midget Skateri Alpha, 
He's a midget because he was rushed out the door at the time of his creation <laughs> to help replenish a squad a few hundred years back. He never got hype mode since then. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like to imagine it was like C three PO, you know, in the factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> works type of thing. I enjoy playing odd characters, but my DM hates them, such as Kevin. He was some Chad dude who came to hunt ghosts with the grip. The DM didn't enjoy Kevin beating three demons out of existence with a holy water covered pull up bar. Mate, this is fucking Zach Baggins from yeah. fucking Ghost Adventures. Ghost Adventures. <laughs> Zach fucking Baggins. I, I love how edgy Zach is. There's something about him. He's, he's too like, edgy. Oh, he's so in there, so he is. <laughs> Kevin also rolled a natural 20 on throwing a rock at what he believed to be a UFO in the sky and fucked up something important for the DM. All the other players loved the character due to the stupid things he got into, but I love the stupid and weird characters. Yeah, I enjoy them Yeah, sometimes. so do I. Uh, you know, sometimes it's more fun. Like, don't get me wrong, I know when you're playing with people, sometimes they want to do like a really serious campaign. Yeah. But you're just not in the mood. It's like, like, I'm plus number one. It's all about it's having a game. fun. It's all about having fun. You know, it's it's a game. Yeah, it depends. It's, on it is about having you. fun, though. It depends on the type. I'm playing a warrior in my Fargo right now, and we have survived a battle. Small, our town had been poisoned, and then burned to the ground after we ran away, and we've just won the trial against us for genocide. Good times. <laughs> well, look, at least you won the trial. <laughs> like, you know, like, if you can get off with genocide, thumbs up. You know, that's not bad, though. I'll give you that. One of my characters I've made is a human child who, due to a series of unfortunate events, was brought up by goblins and therefore believes he is one. <laughs> Me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I love goblins. I played a dwarven cleric who took bones from animal encounters for no reason. I also bought them from butchers, obsessed over a chair, and the first spell he cast was spare the dying on a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, I would do the same. Yeah, I know. It's hard not. So my most recent DM brought me into a game in order to play and have fun. Well, in quotations. <laughs> in quotations. <laughs> but what she really wanted me to do was, please kill the CN Edge elf murder hobo, <laughs> Molestorum. Molestorum. Mo Molesterman. <laughs> Molestorum. <laughs> I made brother Gregor. Gregor is on? Or Gregor? Gregor? I'm going to go Gregor. Yeah, Gregor. Gregor. Yeah, Gregor. Yeah. The lawful good acolyte of the god of justice and protection, Ada the Blind. He believes in fairness and just, equitable treatment for all the mortal races. Great weapon master, reckless attack, zealot barbarian. <laughs> he goes a little feral when people are being heretic... Her... 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 Heretical. Her... Heretical. Yeah, go heretical. No, they're going to fucking call me out in my bullshit. Oh, wait, you're recording? Yeah. <laughs> Just stop it! <laughs> Don't worry about it. You aren't a heretic, are you? The weirdest, but maybe not most creative PC I've ever witnessed was the devotion pally with interesting tendencies. We called him the sub. After he got his holy slash lawful oh, whip... <laughs> We all kind of realised he didn't only like the receiving end. <laughs> oh god. That's pretty good, I like that. Lou the Gnome Artificer, 20 intelligence, 20 wisdom, is convinced the goblins are controlling the government and the royal family are secret lizardmen. No, they're werewolves. Wears a tinfoil hat of mind shielding. Once made a device to convert all the air in the world into hydrogen and ignite it to see if she could. Once she had a quest to clear a passageway through a mountain of a single goblin bandit. A hundred sticks of dynamite, fifty thunderstorms later. There is a new passageway where the mountain was. Once when confronted with a bone naga, she opened a tent portal to the plain of water. There was now a passage through a forest and Lou was found one mile away, three foot up a tree. Is convinced the goblins messed with that scroll. Goblins, I don't know if those are goblins. <laughs> A halfling convinced she was an ancient red dragon. She believed this so hard she got levels in sorcerer. She had crazy high charisma and later on, ladder on, ladder, later, I'm I'm, later yeah. on, two dire wolves she used for transportation and the best bed a halfling could ever have. She once walked into an enemy city as a messenger and charmed the guards into opening the gates for our army. Its strength is not good for pulling levers. The last thing that happened to her while I was playing her 
is the god of dragons let her become a sort of were dragon because her horde of laps included a king, an entire assassin's guild, and a level 20 wizard. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's not bad. I like that. I'm working on a lore bard slash celestial pack of the tomb warlock. I'm always a fan of warlocks. I know yeah. warlocks have got like that edgy boy. Oh, gods. they're so edgy. Yeah, they are. They are. But like, they are cool. Yeah. Even though they're not the best mechanically. He was orphaned in a carriage accident and adopted by the nearby mongrel folk colony. <laughs> I smell furry! <laughs> <laughs> Grew up with a love of learning as he sought a way to better lives of his adopted family. He became a successful adventurer, sending much of his wealth back home, and opened up the world's largest public library to pass on all he had learned. At some point he wanted to access more forbidden knowledge. Oh no you don't, bitch! <laughs> oh! So he called out to any beings listening, and said he wanted to make a deal. He expected he would need to outwit a demon or something. But fortunately, the being that answered was an angel in service to a god of knowledge that had taken an interest in him. Not sure. bad. You sure? Are you, yeah, are you sure? I think I would be very, um, be very wary of uh, making deals with... <laughs> calling out? <laughs> yeah, just calling out. Go, anyone give me a hand, <laughs> please. <laughs> Changeling Rogue with terrible multiple personality disorder. Roll the d4 at DM determined intervals to switch characters and classes between a paladin, a warlock, a bard, and a barbarian. That's pretty, That's pretty good. I really like that. I like Changigun. We've, yeah. we've got a nice story about Changigun, but it's in text. Uh, I'll link it somewhere in the cards up there. Look, look at the top corner. You can see that, can't you? Yeah. I'm <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Techman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that, do you? Darlin the Polite, human cleric of the forge had the habit of opening the doors for the rest of the party. Not by lockpicking or using knock, but by upcasting catapult, usually flinging the doors across the room. He was awesome to play in a party of SWAT-inspired adventurers. Problem is, he racked up a substantial debt towards various innkeepers <laughs> due to all the doors he flung while not in mission. <laughs> yeah, that's great. One of my favourite characters I ever played was an elf sorceress in Shadowrun. And despite our GM giving us less bill points at the start, she still had very high charisma, so she was super hot and a very effective illusionist. Quite narcissistic with her entertainment spell, she'd make the person being seduced think it was her. A shame if they were gay though, lol. <laughs> she called another PC who was a hacker to hire him to help, and he hacked her phone which was of course full of selfies and distributed them all over the net. Now I think about it, she probably would have never been a shadow runner, but a shameless twitch thought. <laughs> LOL. That's good. Yeah. Honestly, I like that. I like that. I love using like because Shadowrun's such an old system almost. Like the gore is kind of it's like almost like that go. Yeah. Kind of futuristic. In yeah. A weird sense. But I love like the base of yeah. Shadowrun. I love um the concept. I yeah. love the universe. It's yeah. really cool. Awesome. But I really like like cyberpunk. Yeah, I, I the look of it. I, I love that thing. Fucking Cyberpunk 20! <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, like yeah, yeah. Hank Hill. <laughs> there was a dwarven cleric of the god of fertility in a campaign I was in. He wore truck nuts. I, I, uh, that, yeah, the things that hang off like the back of the <laughs> He wore truck nuts as his holy symbol <laughs> and threw his spirit weapon, also truck nuts, but in Warhammer form. And he kept collecting favours from everyone in the party. Favours in quotations. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Well, I must say, I really enjoyed them. Yeah, ones. I really loved this. Like, I loved all of them. Yeah, they were all pretty cool, to be honest with you. I love seeing how other people make their, uh, like, what they think about whenever they're putting characters together. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I hope Sometimes I really struggle putting yeah. characters together. Same. Sometimes people ask me, it's like, oh, what do you want to play as? And then I, my mind just goes blank. Yeah, I'm like, ah! Uh, 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 you know, I've got no idea, you know, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, if you guys have any of your own personal favourite character, definitely leave them down below. If we get enough of yeah, them, Yeah, I want to do another video. Yeah, I, 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 I like doing this. This is actually kind of cool. And it's more of a community. And it brings you into it as well. And yeah. I love seeing your ideas on different characters. Yeah. So I love it. Yeah, because I see a lot of you in the comments and I see the same people again 
again and again. Yeah, so we read nice... the comments. We're always active in the yeah, comments. Yeah, well, Megan's more active. I, <laughs> I read them. I'm not always there to respond, but if I heard it, then I'm, I've definitely read it at least. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not too bad. But anyway, look, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. I know most of you aren't subscribed, so just fucking do it. We're so close to 10,000. 10, 100,000, 10,000. That was a while ago, too. I know. But look, with that close to 100,000. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this night, who's getting a wee bit out of hand? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you later. All those moments will be lost in time.